Okay, good morning. This set of notes are going to be shorter, which is nice because we've had a couple of long ones. This one is factoring by grouping, and most students, once they get the hang of it, it goes pretty well. So factoring by grouping is when you have polynomials of four or more. Most of the ones that we're going to have are only going to have four. So the first step is you look for terms with like factors and group them together. So looking at this, I could pair these two together because they both have a 3 and an x as a factor, and the other ones have a negative 2, but I could just keep them in the same order because I have an x squared I can take out of these. So take on an x squared, that's step 2, look for a GCF, so a GCF of these two is x squared, and we have 3x minus 2. The next, it does not have a GCF, but you have to write a 1 for your greatest common factor with that. So plus 1 and 3x minus 2. And what needs to be true is that part that's inside the parentheses has to be the same. It has to be the same. So then you will put the GCFs together. If they are not the same, then you've done something wrong or Maybe it can't um, factor, but you put the GCFs together into one set of parentheses, so x squared plus 1, and then your um, binomial that was the same, you just write that down one time, and you're all done. Don't put it squared, just write it one time. And you can always check your answers by multiplying it back together, and you should get the original. Okay, let's take a look at number two. Okay, the first two, I can see a 10 as a common factor and an x squared, so I'm just going to keep them in the same order. Now, you do want to put that negative in the parentheses when you pair them, okay? And I'll explain why here in a second. So the GCF of the first two, we can take out a 10 and an x squared. So we have 2x plus 1. And then this, since the first term is negative, you're going to take out a negative GCF, and you can take out a 6. So it's negative 6, and then it's 2x plus 1, because remember, negative 6 divided by negative 6 is positive 1. These two are the same, so we put these together. So we have 10x squared minus 6 and then 2x plus 1. And then, hindsight's always 2020. I see in this set of parentheses I have a GCF of 2. So I should have done that at the very beginning, but I didn't see it at first. So you can do it now. So you take out a 2, and you have 5x squared minus 3, and then 2x plus 1 just comes down. And that's your answer. Okay, looking at the next one. Okay, 32 and 56, I can see I can take out an 8. So I think I will put these together and those together. So 32 and 56, I can take out an 8 and an x squared. 32 divided by 8 is 4x. 56 divided by 8 is negative 7. Then since the first term is negative, take out the negative. And we can take out a 3 and a y. So we have 4x minus 7, because 21 divided by negative 3 is negative 7. Again, make sure these two are the same. Put your GCFs together. So 8x squared minus 3y, and then 4x minus 7. And that's your answer. Nice and short today.